you know, one liter water bottles I just picked up somewhere at a show. Um, you know, it just has a screw top lid. Uh, it's going to make it easy to collect water out of this because it's a wide mouth. And the only thing I'm going to do here, although there's not much debris in the water, you can see, always carry a bandana to cover the top of the bottle. And so you can um, filter out any large particles, which I'll um, do that. I won't do that today, but um, a bandana on the top of your bottle will filter out any large particles and keep your filter that much cleaner. So let's go down to the water's edge here and fill up our bottle. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm filming it myself today, so... Okay, there you can see, I filled up the bottle with water from the lake, and now we'll set up and test out our filter. All right guys, we found a spot here. I just hung up my outdoor products pack with that little uh, night eyes clip right from a branch here. And what I'm gonna do is hopefully uh, this comes out pretty clear today. I have my bottle of water, so I'm gonna put that in my pack just to hold it right now. Now if I wanted water uh, to take with me, I have it in the bottle. All I have to do now is use the filter to filter it. So what I'm going to do is use the straw that came with the filter and the filter itself. Uh, this filter shows the flow, the arrow, so the straw is going to go on one end of the filter that also can screw onto a uh, you know one liter uh, 16 ounce standard size two liter water bottle right here it's threaded for that but today we're going to use the straw so my straw is attached and then my bite valve has a cover on it okay so you know that's the end that you're gonna you're gonna suck the water up from okay so what we're gonna do is take our water that we picked up in our bottle uh, that we have here take our cap put that aside so now we have water that we're ready to drink in the field and what I would do is just dip my straw into the bottle and drink tastes like regular bottled water guys um, this is a surefire way uh, to get fresh drinking water I could have sipped straight from the lake or the stream. Um, this also comes with a plunger or a syringe uh, to backwash it and clean out your filter uh, and get it ready for the next uh, time uh, that you're out in the field. So guys, the Sawyer Mini um, filter for 20 bucks, highly recommended. And for the amount of water uh, that this thing filters uh, up to a hundred thousand gallons uh, you cannot go wrong from having this in your kit okay and then you could carry extra bottles take them with you back to camp and use them as needed uh, with your filter uh, back at camp and you have fresh drinking water on the road if you were hiking okay uh, you put this in the squeeze bottle uh, that I have here in my pocket the Sawyer filter will screw onto the top of the squeeze bottle and you could squeeze out the water that way as well um, and drink on the on the run or on the walk okay so thanks for joining me guys the Sawyer mini again I'll put um, a link in the description box um, the stats on this the specs on it and where to get it and uh, just a great probably one of the most important preps you could have is water filtration and making sure you can get clean water when you need it. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for coming out with me today. Uh, check this outdoor products pack. I just did a video on it as well. Um, it's holding up really well. It's great in an urban environment. Uh, you walk down here as people on bikes and out walking and cycling. Didn't raise any eyebrows. Um, just blending in real well in the uh, suburban areas here in South Florida. And um, I like being able to do that. Um, if you were all tactical packed out, You'd be raising some eyebrows and drawing unwanted attention to yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care. Stay ready.
and get yourself a Sawyer mini water filtration system. Anthony signing off. Take care. Okay, guys, we're done. We're back home. We're done with our filter. So now we want to clean it with the syringe that's included or the plunger. So I filled up a little bowl of fresh water here. And when you plunge the filter, you want to go, just like in my other video, the opposite way of the water flow to clean it out. So this is the way we're going to plunge it here. We'll fill up our syringe or our plunger, and it holds about two ounces of water. And I will do this a few times, the first couple times pretty forcefully to clean the filter. Here we go. One. And basically you're just backwashing whatever you pulled out of the lake, the stream, the river, or wherever you uh, used for a water source. And then your filter's ready for the next round of filtering. Again, the lake I pulled from didn't have a lot of sediment and debris in the water, so uh, I'm gonna do this three times, and that's all you gotta do. As long as you let this filter not freeze, uh, you're good to go. Here you go, just shake out the excess water, let it dry, and now you'd cap it off and you're ready for your next run. 100,000 gallons, guys. Um, Life-saving filter, the Sawyer. SP-128 mini water filter.